Hello, it's European Coffee And we are in Edinburgh, Scotland. Welcome in Edinburgh, political and cultural capital of Scotland and the seventh most populous city in the UK. We spent two days in this beautiful city and it will show you eight cafes that we visited. And now we are in front of our first cafe in Edinburgh and it's called Fortitude Coffee. Helen and Matt opened Fortitude Coffee in March 2014 and supplied their customers with well-made flat whites, arguably the most popular drinks in specialty cafes. Flat white by far, it's the most common one. We decided to try filter coffee from Kenya, roasted by Danish La Cabra and prepared on a Kalita wave. What we learned here is that most people would order flat white in here and maybe the whole UK, right? Walking down George Street, you will catch the sign Low Down Coffee. The cafe under the street level will surprise you with its light and clean, Japanese-inspired interior. Actually, you might feel like in your own kitchen. A lot of people say it's like being in someone's kitchen. Yeah. But the, the dynamic that it creates is really cool, you know, like it's more social, like the barista and the customer. Geeky stuff, they use Malkanic EK43 Twin as their sole grinder. Yeah, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the Leaving low down coffee where we met Paul, the owner, and Robbie, the head barista. <laughs> we had a great coffee from Maxwell Colonna Dash Food, this Tukurinu from Ethiopia. Next cafe we are going to visit is uh, called Brulap Coffee. There are actually two Brulap cafes, new and old. Old one in the old town of Edinburgh, close to the university, and the new one at West End. That is where we went for a cup of coffee. They opened in February 2016, and they might be easily the best equipped cafe in the city. Baristas work with Victoria Arino, Black Eagle, Gravitech or Marco Espinais for filter coffee. It's really cool. But the nice thing about it is there's lots of them. Everybody knows everybody. You'll go to one place and they'll tell you to go to another shop and try this shop. So it's kind of nice, we all know each other. It's a good, a good culture. Speaking of which, there's another shop just around the corner that's really good. It's called Karen Gore Coffee and it's beautiful. So we followed the advice, fought the rain and went to Karen Gore Coffee. This current building served formerly as a bank and you can still find some reminders of it. We met Australian barista Miles Lipke with whom we discussed the differences between European and Australian coffee scene while sipping a flat white. We were also curious about the name, so we asked guys to share the story. It's basically where I'm from. So kind of my dad has a coffee shop up in the Cairngorms, which is where I started working and got into coffee. Um, so yeah, I suppose it's basically where I discovered coffee and kind of really good. Cheers. <laughs> and now we are entering Artisan Rose, first specialty cafe and roastery here in Edinburgh and whole Scotland. When we saw sign JK Rowling never rode here, we had to ask about the story behind it. Uh, as I understand it, so there's a, there's a famous cafe in Edinburgh called the Elephant Cafe. Um, and the story is that while J.K. Rowling was writing the first three Harry Potter books, she did a lot of the writing at that cafe. And now that ca cafe has a claim to fame of that's where she wrote all these books. Right. As long as Artisan Rose likes Harry Potter's book, they prefer to be known for good coffee and not take advantage of the work of somebody else, so they put this sign on. Funny thing is that she actually did write here, secretly. What are you writing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lowdown Coffee was like your kitchen. This would be like your living room. You just need to find a barista to make your coffee. 
You wouldn't miss our barista, though. John and Isabel fill the room with their friendly chat. No, you are the you are the funniest baristas we've ever met. <laughs> Thank you for the coffee. And behind us there is a filament coffee. That's where we are going now. Jamie Craig opened Filament Coffee in March 2015 after having lived and worked as a barista in Australia and New Zealand. He is a big fan of Arpress and Arpress Championship, so we had to obviously order Arpress coffee. This time Kenyan coffee roasted by Square Mile in London. We also love their collection of tourist foods. Owners either collected or received them as a gift over the last year. With by this kind of thing, it's like a souvenir. Okay. Entering Cal Espresso is a big surprise. As small as it looks from the outside, it's actually pretty long and a big little bar place at the very back of the cafe. And we try random coffee from Williams and Johnson, a new specialty coffee roaster with Basin and Edinburgh. At Cal Espresso, we met Peter Kilpatrick, owner of Made by No, who introduced us to the latest version of Feldgrind. Probably the best hand grinder I've ever tried. There is a young and progressive generation at the moment. Many cafes open in the last few months or few years, so uh, many new interesting concepts. And they are trying to now like the really uh, find their own niche trying to find the new roasters, new coffees from all around Europe to work with. We see a lot of uh, uh, English roasters and uh, Scandinavians, so hopefully they will bring also some from the other parts of Europe, like Germany or Czech Republic. And the, what is the really recurring theme here is the festival. So everybody is getting ready for the Edinburgh, Edinburgh Festival in August and they are trying to make the best out of it. Thank you Edinburgh, we spent great days in here. Good luck and stay strong during the festival. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website.